If I had to rank my chickens from greediest to most generous, I think the Rhode Island Reds would be right at the top. If you're not sure what a Rhode Island Red is, they're the big reddish brown hens. There they are, Sigourney and Susan. On the other end of the greedy scale, we have Darlin. He's a very good rooster. He will give his hens treats right from his own beak. He's a generous guy. The chickens got mealworms today, which is a top three favorite treat for them. We keep our own colony of beetles so that we can feed live mealworms. The chickens love it, but since the colony is small, there's a limited number of worms for me to give them. There's Priscilla. She's the gray chicken. Oh, and Persephone. She got a mealworm right from my fingers. Coming in from the top right is Shelly. She's a little pearl baby. She's awfully sweet. Everybody loves treats. <laughs> Beans and pearl. They're always fast to get a treat. Here's Clarice. She's pretty greedy, too. I'm just about out of mealworms now. They know it, too. Hmm. I'm being judged. Scratch mix, on the other hand, is not nearly as popular, so they will come out for it, but they don't love it like they love mealworms. They'll usually eat it millet, then wheat, then the cracked corn. I've been trying to give them cracked corn only, but the feed store sent me home with a bag of scratch mix by accident, so they get to enjoy that today. It was enough to bring almost the whole flock out, though. Everybody's here except for Navi and Lil Pep. They are broody. Um, Navi does come back out here eventually, but Lil Pep would not leave the nest today. But let's get to know these chickens. So in the bottom left here, we have Darlin, the rooster. You can see him being a good boy. The hens like to eat right out of his beak. He's a nice chicken. Next to him, the white hen, that's Cocaine Jenny. She came from my neighbors. She actually let me pick her up this morning, which was amazing because she's pretty flighty. They didn't get handled nearly as much as my chickens. I was really um, surprised that she let me pick her up. Who else do we have? So, of course, there's the two Rhode Island Reds, Sigourney and Susan. And then there are the two Australorps, the big black hens. Um, there at the bottom right is misfit and then next to her is her sister persephone off in the top left that's either persimmon or poppy they are two of the new hens that came from my neighbor they are brown leggerns and i cannot tell them apart yet although i think it'll be easier than the rhode island reds because one of their combs flops to the left and the other one's comb flops to the right so i just need to pick who's what and stick with it their uh, other hen that came with them who just got picked on is Priscilla. She's the gray one. I don't know what color egg she lays yet. She hasn't laid an egg yet, but um, I'm hoping it'll be a color because she has the puffy cheeks and beard of an Americana. So maybe it'll be a green egg or a blue egg or something. That would be exciting, but I don't know. We'll see. Who else is around? So we have beans in the right, the little brown hen. And coming up from the bottom right is Pebble, the little rooster. There is Clarice, the frizzle. Navi, the millifleur. And next to Navi is Isabel. I think she's Bean's daughter as well. 
And we have Pearl in the background there. She just got chased off by Poppy or Persimmon. And then that little miniature darling, that's Garbanzo. His mom is Beans. He's tiny. He used to be a jerk, but he's much better now. He doesn't bite when I pick him up anymore. And below him is Wildflower and her chick, Butterscotch. I think Butterscotch actually came from a pearl egg because she looks like a little miniature version of pearl, but Wildflower raised her, so they still hang out sometimes. And I think that's everybody. Of course, there's 20 of them, and some of them look alike, so it's definitely possible that I've missed someone. If I figure out that I did, I'll try to get some video of them later because they're awfully nice. They all deserve their little moment in the spotlight. The only one we didn't get to see today is Lil Pep, and she's just too broody to come out at the moment. She's in a really broody, bad mood, and she does that horrible little screech at me um, when I even just look in her direction. So hopefully she'll be more interested in coming out for a treat and some water later, and I'll try to capture her wonderful pepness at that time. If you enjoyed meeting my chickens today, I encourage you to subscribe because I will be posting more of their antics soon. You don't want to miss it because they're really cute.